changed so that he was the recipient where he was supposed to be a giver. The reason some marriages are facing challenges is because people are not growing mentally. So the only discussion they can have is what is needed at school, school fees, the school bus broke down, there was traffic, the children came. There is nothing that stimulates conversation. Nothing that makes your partner want to talk to you. So they talk with everybody else in the office. They talk with everybody else in church. They talk with everybody else in the fellowship. When they leave that place, they feel like they are fired up. Then when they meet you, no conversation, dead, because you're not working on your mindset. You can't always be talking about food and children and rent and in-laws. Can somebody talk to me in this house? Touch your neighbor, say, find something to talk about. I didn't hear you. Say, find something to talk about. <laughs> Have you noticed? I'm about to release you. If this man begins to progress in his career, he becomes very attractive regardless of how he looks. <laughs> you know men don't have to be handsome. They just need to be progressive. A man who is doing well is handsome. I'm going to try that again. <laughs> Any man who is doing well is handsome. He is handsome to everybody. Now, in the same manner, when a woman begins to do well, she becomes attractive. There is a level of attraction that comes from things that are not physical. If we will keep the conversation, we must keep growing our minds and have new things to talk about. We must have exciting things to talk about. We must be challenging ourselves to grow as individuals so when you come back to your house, there is a new you your spouse is meeting. You're not the person that they left there in the morning or the person that they parted ways with when they were going to work and you're coming back and every day is the same, 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 same old story. Then they begin to get bored. Then they start looking for other people to talk to. So your husband is spending time with men and probably the ladies trying to find time now with other ladies because there is no conversation. It has become boring. You have to invest in your mind. This initial connection was not just physical. The physical came. You may be seated. Thank you. The physical came after man discovered that he was naked. Can I try that again? <laughs> The physical attraction only came after man had fallen. The initial attraction was not physical. The initial attraction was not physical. If there is nothing above the physical, it cannot last. For those of you who married a figure, Now, it looks like somebody has changed it. You actually blame your wife for her figure. You forget you put seed in her womb. How do people talk in Mombasa? Do we talk freely like this? You put seed there. You borrowed her body for nine months. And then you expected it to remain the same. Nine months times four. <laughs> so you're wondering what happened to her. And she's pointing to the people who are running around the house. She's saying, this is what happened. So now you're upset with her size. So you are going back to look for how she used to be. In your office and on Facebook. 
No, you cannot fool me that because you are in church, you are fine. No, man. <laughs> so now you are going back to the first image that you ever met. You are looking for it. <laughs> you know, women go through stuff. You lose weight, your husband says, I need you to look like you're a mother. You put on weight, she says you're he says you're too old. You lose weight, you're like a girl. You put on weight, you're too much. So she doesn't know which weight is which weight. <laughs> All right, let me come back to Proverbs 14, verse 1. A wise woman builds a house. Go to Proverbs 15 and verse 1. Proverbs 15 and verse 1. One of the attributes of a wise woman which she must learn is in Proverbs 15 and verse 1. A soft answer turns away wrath. Everybody shout Amen. 